If Carlos does a job in 12 hours, and with the help of Destiny, they can do it together in 5 hours, how long would it take Destiny to do it alone? Because work equals rate times time, let's record all the given information in this table, where we have the work, rate, and time for Carlos working alone, Destiny working alone, and working together. So we know Carlos can do a job in 12 hours, which means he can complete one full job in a time of 12 hours, which means his rate is going to be 1 12th of the job per hour. So we'll put 1 12th here. Again, if it takes him 12 hours to complete one full job, his rate would be 1 12th of the job per hour. Next, we know with the help of destiny, meaning working together, they can complete the job in five hours. So going down to this last row, together they can complete one full job in a total time of five hours, which means the rate is one-fifth of the job per hour. So notice how if we know the total time to complete the job, the rate is equal to the reciprocal of the total time. The question is to determine how long it takes Destiny to complete the job alone. So Destiny can complete one full job in an unknown amount of time. Let's let x equal the number of hours it takes Destiny to complete the job alone, which means her rate is going to be 1 over x. And if it takes Destiny, let's say, 8 hours, her hourly rate is 1 eighth of the job per hour. If it takes her 2 hours, her hourly rate would be 1 half of the job per hour. So again, the question asks us to determine how long it takes Destiny to complete the job alone. So our goal here is to determine the value of x. And to do this, we'll form an equation using the rates. When two people work together to complete a job, we add or combine their individual rates to determine the rate at which they work together, which means the equation we need to solve for x would be 1 12 plus 1 over x must equal 1 fifth. Again, because together the rate at which Carlos and Destiny work is 1 fifth of the job per hour, then if we add their individual rates, it must equal the combined rate of 1 fifth. Now to solve this equation, we want to clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. So in this case, notice how the least common denominator would have to contain a factor of 5, a factor of 12, and a factor of x. And therefore, the least common denominator is 60x. So to clear the fractions from the equation, we'll multiply both sides of the equation for each term by 60x. So we'll have 1 12 times 60x plus 1 over x times 60x must equal 1 fifth times 60x. And if it's helpful, we can write 60x as a fraction with the denominator of 1. And now we'll find the products, but before multiplying, we'll simplify. We'll simplify out any common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice 12 and 60 share a common factor of 12. There's 1 12 and 12 and 5 12 and 60. So this first product is 5x plus, here we have a common factor of x. x over x simplifies to 1. So this product is 60 equals, on the right, we have a common factor of 5. There's 1 5 and 5 and 12 fives and 60. This product is 12x. Now to solve for x, we'll subtract 5x on both sides to get the x terms on one side. Simplifying, this is 0, so we have 60 equals 7x because 12x minus 5x is 7x. And our last step is to divide both sides by 7. So x equals 60 sevenths, which means it takes Destiny 60 sevenths hours working alone to complete the job. Now, it does seem a little strange to enter time as an improper fraction, but this is how we enter our answer. But let's also write this improper fraction as a mixed number. So we'll take 60 and divide by 7. There are 8 sevens in 60. 8 times 7 is 56. Subtract. Difference is 4. So x is also equal to 8 and 4 sevenths. So we'll say destiny can complete the job 
alone in 67 hours, which equals 8 and 4 7 hours. Again, for our entry, though, we do enter 67. I hope you found this helpful.